Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to review the Anik 12 year old. This is a Highland single malt Scotch whiskey from the Nocdu Distillery, which is situated in Aberdeenshire, which is in the northeast of Scotland, I believe. It's bottled at 40% alcohol, it's chill filtered, and I also believe it has some added colouring. It doesn't say anywhere on the bottle that it doesn't have any added colouring or no chill filtering. It's a fairly standard style bottle, a very basic looking label. It doesn't have much information on the bottle. It has a little bit of information about the distillery and that's about it. It was established in 1894, if anybody's interested. I poured a glass out a short time ago. The colour is standard amber colour, I would say. But, as I mentioned, I do believe it has some added colouring. I've had nearly half a bottle of this now. When I first opened it, I was really, really disappointed with this whiskey. I found it to be very, very sweet. I believe this whiskey is matured in ex-bourbon casks. And I would say they are first fill ex-bourbon casks. It was very, very sweet when I first opened it. I was getting a lot of honey and malted barley and that was about it. It was just far too sweet for me. I struggled with it at first. I'm still struggling with it now. I haven't had any for a week or so, so I'll see if it has improved at all. On the nose, I get sweetness, honey, malted barley. Some green apple, which I wasn't getting a couple of weeks ago. It's not as sweet as it was on the nose. I can pick up a little bit of alcohol as well. I'm not getting any alcohol burn, it's only 40% alcohol. It's a fairly pleasant nose. On the palate I get honey and maltiness up front, lots of it. It is really sweet, not as sweet as it was when I first opened it. On the mid palate I get some saltiness and at the back some vanilla and then it's gone. It has opened up a bit. I did find it very one dimensional when I first opened the bottle. I 
got pretty much just honey and malted barley when I first opened it but now I'm picking up a little bit more on my second sip I get honey some saltiness in the mid palate some vanilla at the back and then it's gone the finish is short it's a little bit thin as well I think it would be much better if it was bottled at 43% or 46% alcohol. The 40% alcohol does it no favours. It's very soft. I'm going to have one more sip. On my third sip, it's just the same really, I get sweetness up front, a bit of salt at the back, and then It's pretty much gone. It's mm, not a great whiskey, I would say. It's not very complex. I get some sweetness, as I say, some saltiness. And that's about it. The finish is really, really short. It's an okay whiskey for beginners, I would say. Some people will probably really enjoy this whiskey, but it's just not very interesting to me. It has improved from when I first opened it. I was very, very disappointed in the whiskey a few weeks ago. It's improved a little bit for me, but I'm going to give this whiskey a six out of 10. It's not bad, but it's nothing special. I paid 40 pounds for this. And I think it was a little bit expensive. It's not bad. I think beginners would like this as it is sweet. But it's just lacking a bit of something for me. It's a little bit too thin. And it has a very short finish. It's just okay for me. I wouldn't buy it again. Okay, that's it. I'll be back soon with another review. Take care. Bye-bye.